And uh, Mark, this isn't exactly uh, what you would expect going into a Christmas holiday. Uh, such inflammatory remarks like this, and you, you've decided that uh, this is just unacceptable. You're, you're urging Mr. Palladino to step down. Yes, uh, literally was walking into the funeral of a great public servant in Jim Kane, who worked very hard for the entire community, and then I saw these statements, and as the funeral was going on, I started getting emails, and I know my office started getting calls about Mr. Palladino's statement, and, and it was reprehensible. It was deplorable. It was full of uh, hate and anger. Now, unfortunately, we've seen that in the past from Mr. Palladino. Uh, I was hoping that he had changed. He had been actually a little better recently, and. I saw him last night for the first time in a number of months. I wished him Merry Christmas. He was in a good mood. But you can't be a representative of the people. You can't be an educator, which he is, as a member of the Buffalo School Board, and, and come out with this racist, hate, and anger-filled uh, rant against the president, against the First Lady. Uh, and it's just, it's reprehensible. It's deplorable. It's not acceptable, and if you are a representative of the people, regardless of whether the First Amendment protects your rights to say it, you cannot think that, nevertheless say it, and, and he needs to step down. And what disturbs a lot of people is his role representing a school district, representing thousands upon thousands of, uh, of Buffalo kids. Yeah, he may not be a teacher per se, but he is an educator. He's making decisions that uh, pertain to the uh, the education for all students in the city of Buffalo, because while he represents the South District, uh, or the Park District, however it's ter uh, termed, uh, he makes decisions that impact every student in the city of Buffalo. And if the students see that, then, and they see him get away with it, it only uh, fuels others who may have hate-filled anger and racist statements while thinking, well, if the school board member can get away with it, why can't I? Uh, it's just wrong. I mean, we always, none of us are perfect, the old adage, uh, let those who live in a glass house be the first to cast a stone. Well, some of us, at our various times, we always think, well, I wish I hadn't said that. But you can't continue to do that as a public official. You can't come out with this racist, uh, in, pablum, anger, rant, whatever you want to call it, and then justify it as it's just comedy. It's not funny. It is derogatory. It is hurtful. Uh, it is sending a message to many people that it's okay to say this when it's not okay to say this. And he's a public official. He needs to do the right thing and say, I screwed up. Uh, it's wrong. I shouldn't have done it. And it's time for me to step aside because otherwise, instead of talking about the issues that need to be discussed to address problems in the Buffalo School District, what, what are we going to be hearing about going forward is Carl Palladino's rants. So in the best interest of the children, it's time for him to say, I'm moving on. He did issue uh, an email blast uh, during the one o'clock hour. He says it's not about racism, and that's just typical media drawing its conclusions. And he didn't backtrack. In fact, it almost seemed like he was he was kind of doubling down, uh, saying that the Obamas effectively they hate America. They hated it before he got into the White House. And his last line was "Merry Christmas," and effectively, "Too bad to all you who don't like what I got to say." Well, if he thinks the Obamas hate America, that's all he needs to say is, I think the Obamas hate America. I certainly believe that the Obamas love America. They've been a great presidency. Uh, but to go out there and, and talk about uh, the First Lady is really a, a male and should live in a cave with a gorilla, I mean, that's old cold word. Those are, those are code words, gorilla, for African Americans. It's wrong. Uh, he can't sit there and try to justify it. There's no justification to it. It was deplorable. It was wrong. Uh, I remember during the political campaign, Donald Trump, when he was questioned about the statements that he made about women, and he said, well, that was locker room talk. This is not locker room talk. I coach hockey. I play hockey. This is not what we talk about in locker rooms. We usually talk about our knee injuries and how we're feeling and what, uh, what pain medication we're going to take because the elbow hurts. We don't talk about things like this. So uh, I'm just very disappointed because, once again, People hear about this. Uh, we got calls from all across the country calling for uh, me to act. Uh, and while I don't really, I care more about the constituents of Erie County, it just sends a terrible message to the people in the rest of the country thinking that, oh, that's what Buffalo is. Buffalo is this racist backwater. We're not. We are a very open society. We're welcoming to refugees. We're more welcoming to refugees from across the world than a lot of other communities in the United States. And one individual does not represent the views of this community. 
And for the best interest of the community, I think he needs to move on, and that's why I called him to resign, and I hope he will. If he doesn't, uh, I know having talked to uh, leaders uh, in, in the uh, local faith-based community, as well as the uh, president of the NAACP locally, uh, they're going to call, if he doesn't resign, for others to remove him. Uh, I think he needs to resign and just end this. That would be up to the state education commissioner to remove him, I believe. I think you're correct. Uh, I don't have the power to do that. I don't believe the other members of the school board do. It's only up to the state to do it. Uh, you can't state something so obviously hate-filled and then come back and say it's a joke. And, and you, if he thinks the Obamas are doing it, did a bad job, well, then just come out and say it. Don't try to hide behind what are really racist and hate-filled anger. Uh, it, you, that's not a joke. If anything, uh, if, if Carl thinks that's a joke, then that's really sad and that, that, that he needs help. This is a guy who has said in the past, you know, America, it needs to be okay again and, and not PC. It needs to be okay to say Merry Christmas. You know, the president-elect has said it, it's going to be okay to say Merry Christmas. And here we are just a couple of days before the Christmas holiday, and we're dealing with such inflammatory talk. Well... It is just a couple of days before the Christmas holiday. As I said, I saw Carl last night and I wished him a Merry Christmas because I know Carl is Christian. But I would not walk up to someone I don't know and say Merry Christmas to them because I don't know what their religious affiliation is. No one's ever said it's not okay to say Merry Christmas. You just don't go out there and say it to people you don't know, whether they're Jewish or Muslim or Hindu or may not ascribe to any religion. There's nothing, there's, there's nothing wrong with saying Merry Christmas to someone that you know that's Christian. But Christians also understand that you should love thy neighbor. You should sit there and you should try to create a better community for all. And I think it's one of the great things that Pope Francis has been talking about is how we need to go out there and help all, regardless of religious affiliation, including those who are, are, are destitute. And sometimes people forget about that, that there's many different interpretations of the Bible, but one of the things that you can look at with regards to, to, to Christ's teaching is to help thy neighbor and love thy neighbor. And unfortunately, these statements are not those that indicate uh, help or loving of thy neighbor. It's just wrong. I'm, once again, I'm very disappointed in, in Mr. Palladino. I, it just it puts another black mark on our community that we don't need to have. And it takes away from what really needs to be done on the Buffalo School Board, which is uh, find the best way to educate children. If Mr. Palladino is a private citizen and he says this, we roll our eyes, but he's a private citizen and he can do it. He's not a private citizen, he's a public official. He needs to understand you're held to a completely different standard. Uh, you can't joke about this. It is not funny, it is not a joke. If he does think it's a joke and it's funny, as I said, he needs some help because this is not funny. Uh, it's one thing to talk about uh, saying you're gonna, instead of saying uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, but then to come back and do these exceptionally derogatory statements about the president, the first lady. Uh, and it's not the first time he's done things like this. Uh, I had hoped he'd turn the leaf. It seemed like he had for a while, but I guess not.